there are two metrics that allow us to measure how powerful hydrogen-rich water is, and they are called ORP and PPM. ORP, or Oxidation Reduction Potential, indicates how strong of an antioxidant the water is. But what is oxidation? It's a process that's essential for all living things, but that's ultimately deadly to the cell. Biological oxidation, for example, is the process of aging. This is why hydrogen-rich water has been proven to be extremely strong anti-aging agent, making your organs and skin look and be younger. A positive, actually high, oxidation potential is desirable in sewage treatment or for keeping swimming pool water and spas clean. Because the process steals electrons from bacteria's DNA, which in turn kills them. But as you probably already figured out for yourself, high ORP is the last thing you want in the water you're drinking or food you consume. The internal environment of your body has a negative ORP that's usually near to about 350 millivolts. So it makes sense that the water we drink also has a negative ORP, right? There's just one problem. While many factors that define the quality of the water we're drinking are internationally standardized, ORP is not. The result? Normal tap water and even bottled water have positive ORPs. In fact, their ORP could range from 200 to 600 millivolts, depending on location. Now, you may think that's no big deal, but the fact is that if the water you're drinking oxidizes your body, this could lead to multiple health complications including heart diseases, neural disorder, low energy levels, and cancer. For comparison, other things with positive ORP are soda drinks with plus 400 to plus 600 millivolts, energy drinks with plus 400 to plus 500 millivolts, and lactic acid, which forms in your muscles during physical activity, with plus 135 millivolts. Hydrogen-rich water, on the other hand, depending on what products you use to make it, comes with a negative ORP that ranges from minus 350 to minus 750 millivolts. Here are some other substances with negative ORP, green tea, orange juice, and vitamin C. These molecules, as you probably already know, are antioxidants as well and are healthy to your body. There's just one problem. These molecules are from 20 to 150 times larger than hydrogen molecules. This makes it hard for them to get into the vital parts of your body through cell walls, and it's almost impossible for them to get into smaller formations in your cells called organelles. Hydrogen, on the other hand, being the smallest molecule in the universe, has no problems getting into the deepest parts of your cells and organelles and acts there directly by neutralizing harmful radicals. Now these are the kind of things your body really, really likes. Another factor that measures how effective hydrogen-rich water is, is PPM. PPM stands for parts per million and identifies the concentration of molecular hydrogen in the water. It could vary greatly depending on the products you're using to create hydrogen-rich water. An example of therapeutic concentration of hydrogen in your water is proven to be from 0.8 PPM and higher. The higher the PPM value, the more H2 gas molecules there are dissolved in the same amount of water. So the larger the PPM value, the better.